Hey, what's good, bro? I ain't catch your name. What was your name? Cleveland? My fault, my fault. You said that you don't believe in Christ, right? Right. I just wanted to dig on that a little bit more. You said that um, if, if the writings were from family, you would believe it. But if it's history, you won't really you ain't really dealing with it. Is that what you were saying? Yeah. Right. Do you understand that the people of the Bible are our ancestors? Not now, but it was at one point in time. Now we we got the they and he right here, and we decipher it just fine. But my question to you is: Do you understand that the people in the Bible are our ancestors? But you you don't understand that they are our ancestors. That hasn't been explained to you. Now we're not dealing with complexion out here. We're dealing with the people that was brought over here on ships, that was brought here 1619, that served in the cotton fields, that served in the sugar cane fields, that served on the tobacco plantations. We, so we ain't talking about skin complexion because your complexion is lighter than mine. But if the police pull you over and they pull me over, we could both suffer the same fate. Because we the same people, right? So we ain't talking about complexion. So the point that I'm trying to get to you is I'm trying to get you to understand that the people that we read about in this book are our family, they are our relatives. Right. So do you agree that we were brought here on ships and served slavery for about 400 years? Right, but we were brought here on ships, right? Okay, all right. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. How being brought over here on ships and serving slavery is so bad? Yeah, they black. We were in Egypt too. They were enslaved for 430 years in Egypt. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I want to make sure I'm following. You said black people enslaved white people. Who were the black, the Egyptians were black. Who, who were the white people? They were not. They were not. Let me show you something. Give me Jeremiah chapter 14, verse two. Because th this book, the, the, Bi the Bible, that's what we're trying to show you. We're trying to show you the information that you've been given has been lied to. You've been lied to with the information that you've been given. Build with me for a minute. Build with me for one one minute. What is the book of the Jews? No, no, no. The book of the Jews. The, the Bible is the book of the Jews. All the people that you read about in the Bible are Jews. Jesus Christ was a Jew, right? Yeah, he was a Jew. He was an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. I got I gotta go over a couple of scriptures with you. Let me let me show you Jeremiah 14 and 2 real quick. Check this out. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Uh -huh. Judah mourner. So look, the term Jew is short for Judah. All right? That's one of the 12 tribes of Israel right here. Come check this out for me, bro. You got it on the back? The 12 tribes of Israel, one of the tribes, the head tribe is Judah. All right? So Jew is a short term for Judah. Cleveland, follow me. Read it again. Judah mourner. So the Bible says that the tribe of Judah is mourning. Ju uh, Cleveland, are you listening? Read. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. The Bible says that the gates or the leaders of the tribe of Judah languish, meaning lack. They're weak. Listen up. They are black unto the ground. You see that, my brother? The Bible tells you exactly what the tribe of Judah looks like. It tells you what the real Jews look like. And they're not white. But it does prophesy, it tells you about a group of people that would claim that they are Jews that don't fit the biblical description of the people that wrote the book. Give me Revelation chapter 2 and 9. So look, 
What we want you to understand is that the things that you've been shown, the history that you may have even collected on your own, is false. The only place to... Now the Egyptians were black people and they enslaved... Right, right. That, and that's not that's not the case. Do we got a uh, Zonovan out here? Anybody got this Zonovan? Okay, I got you. Go ahead, read this. Yes, sir. The book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. Hey, look, my man right here. What we're going over right now is what do the true Jews look like? Because we got a nation of people over there in Jerusalem that call themselves Jewish, right? They call themselves Jewish. What do Jewish people look like? Huh? Yeah, what they skin color look like? Light, like, like this brother's light skin. You saying he looked Jewish? Come on, man. You halfway said it. Nah, they can't be any color. You just said it. You said they they wear the hats. They white people. The so-called Jewish people are white people. Does anybody disagree with that? No. But look, look at what the Bible says about the people perpetrating to be Jews. The book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. Uh -huh. I know thy works. So the Bible says, I know thy works. Christ knows the real works of the real Jews. Read on. And tribulation. And the tribulation of the real Jews. Because the Bible says that the real Jews will be persecuted in the four corners of the earth. That they will be scattered to the four corners of the earth in slavery. That's the tribulation. Read on. And poverty. And poverty. When you go into the poorest communities... Of any city, who do you find there? Do you find Jewish people? No. What people do you find in the ghetto? In the trap? In the hoods? The majority of people, don't play with me, bro. The majority of the people. Look, the projects of Hampton, not what they used to be back in the 90s, bro. All the projects are told down. You from Hampton? You not, you from Hampton? You don't remember like Old Town? That was back in like 2002. Yeah, who lived in Old Town? <laughs> Come on, man. You playing with me. You playing with me. All the projects got torn down. A lot of people went downtown. Even the projects downtown were getting torn down. And where they going now? Uptown. Go to any city, anywhere in the world that's impoverished, and you're going to find our people. Right. The largest percentage of people in any hood is always going to be our people. Right. You can't deny that. You cannot deny that. But God says that we're really rich. Now, why would we be really rich if we live in poverty? Exactly. This is just the physical. But the brother was going over earlier how we the chosen people of God. How out of everybody he created on earth, he chose us. And this world was actually created for us. And it's going to be given back to us. That's why we're rich. Because the kingdom of heaven, everybody preaches about Jesus Right? And the coming kingdom and all of that. Right? Right? And although they give you a false narrative about it, yes, he's coming back to set up a kingdom that's ruled by his people. And all of his people look just like him. That's why we are rich, although in the flesh we are impoverished, living in the hood. Read on. And I know the blasphemy. So Christ is saying he knows the blasphemy, read on, of them. Which say they are Jews. So there's a people on this earth that say they are Jews and are not. And are not. What do we call those people today? Jew what? Jewish. No, no. Jew they are perpetrators. But what are they known as on this earth? Jewish. If I say anything is ish, does that mean it's real or does that mean it's not really real? No, ish means it's not really real. Ish means it's not facts. If I'm coming to your crib about six ish, am I there at six on the dot? Around there. So if you're a real Jew and this other person over here is Jew ish, which one is real? The Jew is real. You a Jew, this person is Jewish, the Jewish person is pretending to be you. That's what we're showing you out of the scriptures. The Bible says that the real Jews are what? What do they look like? And what does he look like? He's black. 
He's black. That's why the scripture just said that the tribe of Judah is black unto the ground, my brother. So what we're trying to show you is that the real image of Christ, like, let me show you this, clip. Look at this image right here. This image right here perpetuates, I don't know if it's the same one. Now, that's not the one I'm talking about. That's the one I'm getting to. This image right here, who does the world say that this person is? Yeah, that. Who does the world say that that is? How you doing, sister? We teaching black history out of the Bible. Come listen. All right. Who does the world say that that white man is on that flyer? You don't know? I don't believe in it. So to me, I don't know. I, I ain't asking you if you believe in it. I'm saying when, when they put that picture on TV, who do they say that it is? Jesus or God. They saying that it's Jesus. They saying that it's God. They saying that it's angels. And then the people that they say are God's chosen people, the Jewish people, do they look just like that image? Yeah, they do. They other white people. They say God is white. They say Jesus is white. They show you little naked babies, little naked white babies flying around saying that they angels, right? And then God's chosen people, which are the Jews, they say that they're white as well. But all these things are lies. We've been lied to about all of these things. So it's our job to come out here, show you that your true nationality is not a color in a crayon box. It's not mixed. What are you mixed with? Who, what's your father? What's your mother? You, you never met your father? He's a mutt. What is his father? When you say mutt, what does that mean? Okay. Did, did the ancestors of you and your father serve in captivity and slavery here in America? You wouldn't know. But you do suffer the same oppression as the descendants of the people that served captivity and slavery here in America. Yeah, I'm going to show you the choices that we make. Regardless of the choices that you make, if you get pulled over by the police officer, you suffer the same fate as I do. You and I are currently making two completely different choices right now, right? The reason that I'm out here, I made a completely different choice than you made for you to be out here. But if the police came over here right now looking for an African American, about five foot ten, and they about to pull a bullet in his ass, right? They could easily mistake you for me or me for you. Am I right or am I wrong? Because we the same people. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.